Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to learn what is this error 403 error while I'm using the Gmail API. It says you had insufficient authentication scope. So why am I getting this error? Okay, to know that we are going to get into this video. I'm going to show you what is this workflow and why am I getting this error and how do you really rectify this? In case you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe in case you would like to really learn UiPath in detail. We have ample of videos on my channel. So let's get started. So here is the G Suite application scope which I have used and I'm using a send mail message activity. And if I run this, this is supposed to send an email, a test email. Um, but again, what is happening instead of sending a test email, it throws me an error. Let me show you. And how do you really rectify that? I'm going to talk about it. Okay. So the execution has started. It has prompted me. Continue and continue. Okay. Uh, received what is this error 403 so why this error has come tell me why this specific error has come this error is coming because of a small reason let me show you first of all let's go back to the uh, this one uh, go to your account and first check if the UI path has already been added okay first thing you need to remove it okay so here uh, let's go to my test account click on manage your account manage your Google account and here just type third party here you would find third party now in case see here the UI path has been given access so what you do here I'm going to say remove access first of all you remove access why am I removing access I want to remove the complete access and try to see what went wrong so I've removed the access now let me run the same automation without any change I'm simply running it once again I'm going to show you where things could go wrong while you are automating if you are getting this 403 what exactly you did wrong so you got this page it is telling you to continue to UI path it is taking the name of the app test Rakesh I'm going to select my account if you have multiple accounts, it will allow you to now it is giving you a consent you have been given access to an app that currently being tested you should only continue if you know the developer that invited you so I'm, I'm doing the testing from the UI path so I'll hit on continue on this page where it says UI path wants to access to your Google account select what UI path can access many people they will hit on continue they'll forget that they need to check this where it says read compose send and permanently delete all your emails from Gmail this is the access only when you give it can send email otherwise it can't so remember any activity um, during the API integration of Gmail if you have not selected this consent page properly and hit on continue then this error will come so now if I have given the access now you would see if I hit on continue there should not be any error now let me close it okay now the automation should complete yeah without any error it has completed now if I go back if I refresh I should find a test email on my account see test email has come getting it so if you are getting a 403 all you have to do go to your account click on manage your Google account go to the third party account remove it and when the consent page once again when you run it again it'll give you the consent page and select the proper appropriate option okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in our next content do not forget to subscribe to my channel and support me thank you bye bye